Okay, good morning, uh, Mr. Wilkinson here. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about love and friendship and kindness and also communication. They're my areas of focus for our particular act of worship today. From our virtue keys, you can see the ones I've highlighted, but a number of those really apply to today's session. Please join me in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Mobile phones, the bane of my life. Is this you? I often, although it is difficult during lockdown, walk down the high street or pre COVID times go to the pub or see people in the park and people aren't talking to each other. They're sat on their mobile phones and they are, if you like, in quotes, talking to each other without really making any eye contact at all. And you can see on those images up on the screen, they're all focused purely and simply on their little uh, white um, phones. There is no real, what I would consider, engagement communication with each other. With my sixth formers in my psychology class, I sometimes scare them a little bit and say, right, can you get your phones out? And there is apparently a little app that says you can get your screen time and it monitors how much screen time you use. And when they start typing in what how much screen time, it worries them a little bit. And we talk about that in terms of uh, the various topics I do with them in psychology. And we discuss the amount of time uh, that they actually spend looking at the screen of their mobile phone, as opposed to making eye contact with their peer group or others, family members. And following that psychology um, sort of theme, we do a topic on bonding and attachment and love and how important it is to the development of all ages, particularly the younger ones, how important actually eye-to-eye -eye contact and other aspects of bonding is in terms of healthy development. These are some of the things we talk about. We talk about bodily contact, we talk about mimicking. We talk, I show them an amazing video of a little baby who makes eye contact, a bit like you can see in that image there, and the mum or the dad will sort of stick their tongue out, and the baby, even just a few hours old, will copy the parent and the adult. So we are almost hardwired to learn and copy and engage, not with a mobile phone, but with human beings in terms of forming a strong bond and love. And that strange phase caregiver ease and mother ease is actually um, the real phrases. They are words and language that we use to help bond with each other and develop our friendship. And we talk in strange high-pitched tone and use strange words like goo, 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 ga, ga, ga. And why on earth do we do that? Well, we do it, again, it's almost inbuilt, to try and encourage and engage with young people and make that bond strong. And the final one I've actually underlined is a really important phrase, and it links back to phones. That is sensitive responsiveness. In other words, are we sensitive to the needs of others? And I would put a case that sometimes when we sat on our phone, we're looking down at our phones and not really aware of what's going on around us and the person next to us or opposite us, are we really aware and sensitive to their particular needs? We are so focused on our telephones, sometimes we don't actually... I'd consider engage properly with people around us, and that includes fellow family members and our peer group. This is an interesting experiment that took place. The two little symbols at the top shows a mum who's engaging. It is a video, but I won't show the whole video. A mum who actually engages really well with the little child, laughs, jokes, talks, uses all that goo 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 ga ga mother age type language. And it's a really difficult video. Then she drops out of that engagement with the child and just stares at the child. It's called a still face experiment, completely still face. And look what happens to the child. The child gets really distressed. It, I find it really, I say to my psychology group, I, I really struggle watching this video with the parent. And the baby already recognized, although it can't talk, it recognizes something not quite right here. My mum is not engaging with me. There is no expression, there is no interaction with me. And they start, the baby starts crying and 
screaming and twisting and turning in a chair. And eventually the mum, after a few seconds, quite rightly, you know, engages again and the baby's fine again. Just goes to show the power of interaction and face-to-face -face communication in terms of the well-being of everybody. There was another experiment by um, Harry Harlow, who did some experiments a long time ago um, on monkeys, and gave them the option of either in a cage of going to a, a pretend mother, which was just covered in cloth, nice and warm, or going to a wire monkey, which did actually give food. Does the monkey choose the food monkey, mum, or does it choose love and contact on comfort? And yet you guessed it, the monkey went for the contact comfort. Went to nips to get food for a few seconds and then jumped back onto the contact comfort. So again, that feeling of touch and love is so, so important in terms of our emotional development. And there's no magic formula here. It, we, we don't know. There's no skill. You don't go to a school to learn how to be uh, a, a good person to interact with others. But there's just a couple of wonderful little quotes here that I want to share with you. You learn to love by loving, by paying attention. That sense of responsibility. Again, by paying attention and doing what one thereby discovers has to be done. That's that sense of responsiveness. And then wonderful Mother Therese at the bottom there saying, we shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do, face-to-face -face interaction. And in scripture, it also makes reference to kindness, uh, which encompasses what I've been talking about this morning. From Ephesians, um, there's a prayer here, God help us to speak life to each other this day. Speak to each other. May we be kind to our, our family and use words to build each other up. May we have a listening ear, sense of responsibility. Again. May we have a listening ear and respond to each other with So what I'm putting to you today is we just need to consider how important, I've tried to give you some of the theoretical information there, but you will know yourselves how important a caring family and that phrase sensitive responsiveness is. Just a simple act of sharing a book, sharing a joke, sharing a food, holding hands, having a cuddle, interacting with each other none of those people on that screen have got a phone in their hands they are all interacting with each other they are showing sensitive responsiveness to each other they are aware of their other person's family or peer group's needs they are interacting with them truly not sat on a on a with a phone we have a reading now from father eddie Lord, in this holy season of Lent, give us the grace to change, to believe that we can change, to take small steps towards our true self, to grow in love, to grow in friendship, to grow in kindness. We ask this for ourselves and for one another. In Jesus' name, Amen. So this is where we started, full circle. I asked the question, is it you? Are you spending too much time on your phone? Are you not interacting with other people face to face and giving that contact that we, we need? We need to support our emotional health. I'll give you a final thought. Please would you consider reducing your mobile phone screen time? And if you want a scary fact, have a look on the app, whatever it is, that tells you how much screen time you have had in a day. And then try and spend a little bit more, what I would consider, real face-to-face -face time with each other. Talk to each other properly, face-to-face. -face. Find time to play with each other, younger brothers, sisters, and other family members. And above all, show that sensitive responsiveness. Be aware of the needs of others, which you won't see as you're walking down the high street with your head down, looking at um, a mobile phone screen. Let's care for one another genuinely. The lovely little image there, that old lady saying, a smile is the light in your window that tells others that there is a caring, sharing person inside. Could you bow your heads, please? In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A caring family. Heavenly Father, 
Please shine your light upon my family. Give us strength to overcome all of the difficulties that we are dealing with now and protect us against any and all problems we may encounter in the future. And Lord, please bring us together as we are meant to be. May the love that binds, binds us only grow stronger as we fulfil the destiny that you've laid out for us. Bless us. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning and have a wonderful and safe rest of the day. Bye for now.